BBC is already the world's largest news broadcaster, and we've set ourselves the challenge of being the best. In New York, they're waking up with us. In Hong Kong, they want us to analyse the day's events. That's the challenge that we meet on GMT. I hope my programme will make you feel you've heard something you haven't heard before. World News Today is a place to think. We don't shy away from the controversial aspects. I think it's very good at giving not just a, a list of facts and figures, but the point of the story. The Hub is where you'll find out all you need to know, the news and the analysis. My programme is inclusive, incisive and challenging. BBC World News is a very audience-focused, customer-focused service. We know that our audiences appreciate the range and quality of our journalism, but they're also telling us they want more from us. They want us to make the most of the new platforms that are emerging, and they want to have a stronger and deeper relationship with our key presenters serving our key audiences around the world. And these changes are part of that journey, changes that will enhance our weekday and weekend schedules, tailoring them to our audience's needs. Our programmes are going to give our regional audiences the most up-to-date, the most relevant international news. The stories that will affect them, their lives, their families, their businesses. All delivered at a time that suits them. My audience is important to me because I care about what they care about. We'll be hearing from our correspondents in the field right around the world. The audience is important because they are the thinkers. I'll be bringing together the stories that matter and connecting the dots. We want to bring you the cutting edge too. We're going to look at art and fashion and music, whatever kind of front line interests you. The Hub, I think, brings together years of personal experience, the people, the places and the issues. You know, the people who watch GMT are people who make decisions, and decisions change lives. You're recording that too, aren't you?